We don't have to talk about it. Okay. Hey everyone. Okay, so today it is finally time for October favorites. Did October go by really quickly? Am I one of those YouTubers that says, did that month go by really quickly? I guess so. But that really did for real though. For real, guys. It was a weird month for me. Even better than September. I really liked my Halloween videos that came out. Can I say that? Can I? Is it okay that I can say that? I was proud of myself. I put a lot of work into it. Whatever. Anyway, I had a good month. I hope you guys had a good month. I've got favorites. Unfortunately, I don't have any unfavorites. Weird. I know. P.S. Am I 100% Casper with these lips right now? I think so. Do you like my nails? Anyway, 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 here we go. First up on my list is a favorite that I'm actually returning to. These are the Kiss Trio Lashes in various lengths. Basically, it's like a group of three individual lashes. So if you've ever used individual lashes, you'll know there's like a knot at the end of each one. Well, it's a group of three of those. So it's kind of like meeting in the middle between strip lashes or half lashes and uh, individual lashes, which individual lashes can take some serious time. These are actually really, really awesome. And I used them for a while. And for some reason, I like forgot about them. I have come back to them. I have them on today. I actually only have like four of these little groups on the ends of each of my eyes. You guys know how I like the half lashes look where it's just kind of flared out at the ends. You could totally do all the way across, but I just prefer this look. Does it look good? I like it. And they're actually like really easy to do. I don't remember how much they are, but these are definitely more reusable than individual lashes. Like if you use individual lashes, like once they come off, like they're going down the drain or in the trash or whatever, because they're, they're not really reusable. If, if they are, then I'm missing something, but these you can definitely reuse. Like the ones I have on today, I used them yesterday too, because I'm kind of a frugal lady. What can I say? Frugal. Does anyone say frugal or is it just me? Okay, just me, whatever. Next up, this is another favorite that I had years ago, like literally almost like three years ago. I've been using the Wet n Wild Brow Kit for a long, 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 long time. And I was kind of feeling like maybe the color was a little bit off with that set, especially with my lighter hair. And so when I was at Ulta, I saw this NYX Eyebrow Cake Powder in blonde and I decided to try it out. And I'm really, really liking it. I think it works a lot better. It's a more of like a cooler tone and it just works with the blonde a lot better. I really liked that, but it's just since my hair has gotten progressively lighter, it kind of just doesn't work as well. I knew that I'd probably like it. It really, the thing that was up in the air was the shade. I haven't really used the wax. I don't know why I don't go for the wax, but overall, I'm liking it. This is a good shade for this color hair. I'm living and learning. Next up, a hairspray. I know I always complain about never finding like a true favorite hairspray, even though I totally love hairspray. And then, like I said, I went out on the limb and I got the Kenra Volume Spray number 25 because I heard it was good and it's actually good. It's pricey, which sucks, which still kind of pulls me away from it even still. We'll see what happens when I actually have to repurchase because I still have a lot, but I'm really liking it. Mmm, I'm really liking it. Do you ever like feel pain in your heart whenever you start to fall in love with something that's just a little pricier than you wish it was? I do. Going back to that frugal thing. Mm, some would say cheap. Whatever. Next up, I repurchased, finally, the CoverGirl Outlast Stay Fabulous 3-in-1 Foundation. I said fabulous. Whatever. Um, I got it in the color medium beige. I used this at the beginning of this year a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, and I loved it. Or maybe it was the end of last year, I don't know. But for some reason, like, I used it to death. Like, it was totally used up. For whatever reason, I did not repurchase. So I finally bought another one, and surprise, I still love it. I've been using it a lot this month, and it just feels so good. And it might partially be because it's getting cooler outside, but it's like, oh, it stays on so well, and I, like, don't get as oily, and it just... It doesn't feel heavy and I just I just like it. I know I've talked about it before. I've even done like a foundation routine with this stuff. That's how much I liked it. It was a long time ago. I'll link it down below if you want to see that. Um, definitely things have changed. I should do a new foundation routine, right? Right? We'll see what happens. Um, but yeah, love this one. It has a pump. It's from the drugstore. But yeah, another thing that I've returned to and somehow I'm surprised that I still love it. This is how my life goes all the time though. And it's not just a makeup thing. I don't know. 
we don't have to talk about it. And next it's another hair product. I was super lucky. I got to do this really cool thing that I will tell you about more later. Um, and I got my hair done by a very sweet stylist that works at Cut Loose. Her name is Stephanie. She was super cool and I loved my hair. I posted a picture and a lot of people commented on my hair. Thank you, but it's all thanks to her. She totally hooked me up. She used this on my hair. It's the thickening full form mousse. It lifts, sculpts, and holds full bodied shapes. Um, and it's Bumble and Bumble. I, I've gone through phases where I try to make mousse happen for me. I don't know why. Um, and it never really like thrills me. But this stuff, I mean, it does something. I'm pretty sure it does something. I don't know if it's the hairspray or this or what, but I think this stuff like really makes a difference. I just like put a little bit in my hand, which this is what she told me to do, and like put it on the root and like all the way through, but like not a ton. That's why I get kind of nervous about using like a lot of product because I kind of go a long time between my washes, so I don't want it to like get all built up and gross or something like that, like right on day one. So I just use a bit, but that's before I blow dry it and it just kind of like, I don't know. It makes a difference and I'm a big fan. As you guys already know, I love going to the movies. I love seeing new movies. It's just like my favorite thing to do pretty much. And I saw a ton of movies in October. I don't want to do like full reviews. I wrote them down so I'm gonna list them. Uh, I saw Skeleton Twins, Gone Girl, and Listen Up Philip. And oddly enough, I went to Alamo Draft House and saw The Burbs. If you've ever seen The Burbs, you'll know what I'm talking about. That movie is hilarious and crazy and I loved it when I was a kid and I had forgotten so much about it and I took my friend with me and we had so much fun and it was hilarious and the guy that was like putting it on was so excited and he did this whole speech at the beginning. It was hilarious. His love for this movie was just like tangible. It was amazing. And it's like comedy but like when I was a little kid it kind of seemed like horror. And that's difficult to explain. But anyway, that was, okay, kind of mashing these two things together, a favorites and a magical moment. That was kind of my magical moment. My friend came to visit me from out of town and I hadn't seen him in forever and it was really cool. It was just overall magical. That was my magical moment. And uh, yeah, but I have to say for the other movies, my two favorite movies of the month that I saw are Listen Up Philip and Gone Girl. I kind of resisted going to see Gone Girl just because I didn't resist it, but it wasn't like my idea to go see it. My friend wanted to go see it, so I was like, okay, because I always want to go to the movies anyway. And it was so good. It was so long. I didn't read the book, so I didn't really know what it was about. Like I had one other person tell me that it was really good, so I was just like, okay. And I just didn't really know a lot about it, but I loved it. It was so good. If you're like me at all and you get really restless in movie theaters if the movie's really long and that movie's really long, it will not be a problem. Well, I'm pretty sure it won't be a problem. It wasn't a problem for me because I was like 100% engaged the entire time. It's very intense and very good. And then Listen Up Philip, definitely not for everyone, but definitely for me. It was just so good and my love for Jason Schwartzman is just like never ending. And Elizabeth Moss's hair just made me want to cut my own hair, just all of it off because it reminded me of my hair that I had like seven years ago and I long to have it again. Not doing it, don't freak out. Anyway, one more favorite on the list and it's a podcast and I'm obsessed with it. I hope you guys have heard it already if you haven't get into it. I think they're only like 30 minutes. I don't think they're an hour. I don't know. It's like all time and everything just goes away while I'm listening to it because it's so good. It's called Serial and basically it's like a crime show. So they're talking about the same crime investigation thing that happened like whoa like 15 years ago like the actual crime and everything the trial and everything like 15 years ago and this woman is like revisiting everything and going through all the pieces that like still don't make sense and like there's a person in prison that you know could be innocent I don't know and she's just like picking apart each piece and like each episode is about a different thing and she's like re-interviewing all the people going back over all the evidence and everything and it's so interesting. I feel like a lot of people really like it so you will probably like it too if you like podcasts which I'm obsessed so whatever. Alright so like I said I don't have any unfavorites this month. I don't it, I don't know if that's unfortunately or fortunately. Um, I like to tell you about things that I didn't like so then you know what to avoid or 
something like that. I don't know. Maybe next month I will have more unfavorites. I hope you join me again for another favorites and unfavorites video next month. Um, but until then, if you subscribe to my channel, if you haven't already subscribed, you will see all my videos between now and then. If you have already subscribed, thank you so much. You are my people and I love you. Um, you can also find me other places on the internet like Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Tumblr, Google Plus. It's Leanne Says absolutely everywhere. Tell me your magical moment down below in the comments. I love to read those things. And as always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye everyone! Pretty paranoid about lipstick on my teeth right now. Not gonna lie. This hair is going crazy. I wrote them down. <laughs> and for some reason I stopped using it and then recently my mom sent me a picture of this product and she's like, I love this, this works so well for me. And um, she has different issues as far as eyebrows than I do. Um, this works amazing for her. This color is, I believe, medium.